All right, so we went ahead and we got all the acid and everything put back in to these things. And uh, I got them out here. I just actually rinsed the, rinsed the tops off them because they boiled out a little bit of acid. But I got these wired in series right now so that way they could charge at the uh, same time. And it's not going to hurt anything. They're both 12 volt batteries. I don't want to leave it like this too long. So I don't want to overcharge either one of them. But got them both hooked up. And um, the proper way to do this is actually to charge it. For at least a good 24 hours and then let it sit for 24 hours uh, to determine what the what the decent charge is and I mean that's just a rough way to look at it. I'm not saying that's a exact specific way but you know that's the best way one of the best ways to check it and see how accurate of a charge you're getting on these things but right now with it hooked up we're uh, we're pulling down we're sitting at about a uh, 14, 3, 8, 3, 7, and this is kind of wobbling around on me over here. So we'll go ahead and check it again. 14, even, yeah, it's even worse. Just getting a bad connection is what I'm doing. So where are we at? 14, 3, 1. Spiking up and down, but it's either way, it's charging. I'm just charging good. So that's a good sign to start but at the same time it's hooked up directly to the battery so it's just going to say that as it is that's one battery and the other one should be identical because of the fact that it's uh hooked up the same way so what we got right here again kind of a bad connection on this because i'm having to hold it with one hand but there we go yep reading the same thing but i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this now from my car i'm just gonna take the positive lead off and toss it over there and we'll go ahead and check this now because these are linked in a uh, series or in parallel I'm sorry linked in parallel it's just going to show the same voltage again on either battery I'm having a hard time here with one hand doing this but uh when it's unhooked from the car charging, we are at a 1286, and this is gonna steadily drop off here because this is just an initial charge. So you'll see this drop off a number at a time and everything. But the object here is if we can get it to hold at least a 12.5 after sitting off this charger for you know at least a couple hours, then we're looking really good. And uh, after a day or two, do double checking it and everything, making sure it's not falling off so what i'm gonna do is now that i got like a base charge on this i'm gonna go ahead and take the deep cycle and hook it into the solar system so that way we can get a trickle charge going but at least i've got this much in it now and we'll go ahead and try the other one <coughs> on the uh on the generator but this is where we're at right now as it sits and uh not looking too bad for getting a junkyard battery and putting some new acid in it, so we'll just see where we're at in a couple days.